Hello, my name is Thomas Rennie. When I first saw the 1399 assessment, I found the idea of creating a philosophy on a topic that I have very little experience in to be quite daunting. Although I soon took to the idea. And while the beginning will be rusty, we'll have the next three years to shape and grow our thoughts on pedagogy. It's my belief and the belief of many that if you want to do something, do your best and be the best you can be at that something. In terms of teaching, we're very fortunate to have a foundation of steps to initially work off while discovering what kind of a teacher we're going to be. Great teachers throughout history have always known their students and known how their students learn, as well as understood content and how to teach it. This means understanding that while the content start and finish point may be the same for some students, it won't be for all students as well as understanding that the direction of progress through said content won't be the same from student to student. When understanding how a student learns, it is important to be patient and open to the fact that there are many ways to learn. Confucius sums up this point brilliantly. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Taking the time to gain understanding of learning styles is imperative for teaching. And it's important to not be stuck within bias, for this can lead to shaping the classroom around your own personal learning styles. There are many challenges a student can face outside of school. So this means that when they attend class, the classroom environment needs to be made a safe and welcoming place for them. As a teacher, this means understanding the differences students possess and becoming an agent of change within our community by smashing social norms and teaching our students how to celebrate differences. Succeeding in this will aid in creating a safe environment as it will produce understanding of equality amongst students. Gandhi said that true education must correspond to the surrounding circumstances or it's not healthy growth. Okay, this is a quote that resonates with me as it suggests that the true value of education is to better a person's character rather than improving their position on the production line of life. However, to be able to educate and shape the character of our students, we must first understand the workflow balance that they require. If we challenge a student too much, they will become anxious and possibly start to resent the class. And if we don't challenge students enough, they will become bored and disengaged with learning. This means we must remain in the sweet spot of learning, also known as the zone of proximal development, which allows each student to achieve success in their education careers. As a teacher, I will strive to lead my students by example, showing that school is a place of acceptance and that education is for everyone, regardless of race, gender, identity, religion, or socioeconomic background, creating lifelong learners and agents of change. I will now leave you with the wise words of Mahatma Gandhi. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever.